Shaira, an amazing artist from Vancouver. So we want to know who is Shaira. Tell me more about you. Well, actually, I'm an R&B artist, originally a jazz artist, and um, I'm also a songwriter, a composer, and a producer. When did you start? Um, actually, in, when it comes to singing, I've been singing since I was, ever since I could talk. I wanted to know, is your family was a musical family? Like, is your mother, your father, they were singing, the singer also? Well, ironically, um, in actuality, not to my knowledge, no one in my family on either side is a musical, you know, has a musical. So it's a gift. It, it definitely is. It definitely is. And uh, well, I, I actually come from a family of, of scholars. So you know, we've got uh, our doctors, our scientists, our lawyers, our nurses, and um, our politicians, and things like that. So you can just imagine when I was growing up saying, "Oh, well, what do you want to be?" I want to be an artist. You know, that's who I am, and that's who I feel I should be able to share with the world. How did they react? When I said that? <laughs> well, <laughs> how did they react? Shira, <laughs> you're not gonna be wealthy. <laughs> well, basically, what yeah. they said was. No. <laughs> but I mean, you have to be true to your heart when it comes to things like that. And, and I, have, I did go to school. I have a background in um, marketing, uh, international marketing, as well as music business and music management. So it's interesting because that skill has helped me along the way because not, uh, not just with being an artist, a songwriter, producer, and composer, but more so in the fact that it's important to have that business background. Because it's show business. It is. It's a, it's the music business. It's show business. Exactly. So how did you manage to be a singer and a businesswoman at the same time? Because most of the artists doesn't know how to you know to come to do both of them. Absolutely. It's a good question that you have. Um, I think it comes from my love for both areas of the industry. So it's not just. Um, it's not just uh, music when I, when I take it to the next level. Once I've finished a recording or once I have finished an actual uh, album, I'm ready to, for the next step, <coughs> Excuse me, which is putting it out there and distributing it through the world. So throughout my experience, um, going for, leaving that artist's nest, if you will, yeah. and leaving that creativity aside once it's completed the project, yeah. then um, it's all about the business. So you really have to find a balance between the two as well, because I find that if you're not careful, one can overshadow the other, yeah. and when that ends up happening, it's, um, it can be a challenge. But then again, everyone is balancing their daily life on, on a regular basis. Exactly. So, yeah. But if I understand you have your own production company, yes. tell me about it. How did you start? <laughs> so I, I think you are a model for lots of artists here. Cause thank you. It's hard. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. That means a lot. When it comes to um, how I started out my company, and I'm sure people will find this quite amusing, I actually started my company as a vanity label. So a vanity label is basically a label that is formulated um, as a front, if you will. And what that does is it creates the illusion that the artist is represented by a bigger company, and not just a bigger company, but an entity that is separate from the artist. So I would be the one making all the phone calls, doing all the bookings, doing all the publicity, doing the radio tracking, and it would all be behind my entertainment company, Miracle Mistress Entertainment, which is now incorporated. Now, when it comes to the business side aspect, it actually um, turned into a real multimedia company. Okay, now we've been talking about business a lot, but I wanted to, you remember I wanted to know who is Shaira? Who is that little girl inside you? What, what is your dream? You know? My, your first dream. My first dream has always, first and foremost, to be an artist and to sing for the entire world. That has always been my dream, and I am so thankful that I have been able to pursue that and continue to pursue that and have made that come true. So now what I'm really looking forward to is being able to share my next album, which is upcoming, as well as uh, touring throughout Asia, tour, tour and Europe. what's the name of your next album? Or actually, that's a very good question. Uh, I haven't settled on a title quite yet, so it is to be announced. But um, I really feel that the fans who have followed me this far and the new fans who are joining now will, um, will enjoy it. So I'm very excited. With whom you would like to work? That is a very good question as well. All these good questions, I mean, <laughs> uh, there are a number of people that I would love to work with. Um, and as I mentioned before in the beginning of this interview, when it comes to the styles of music that I do, I am a contemporary artist along the vein of r and soul jazz, but I was also an original jazz artist when I first 
started to uh, see professionals to yeah. So f several of the people seem like it's across the board, but on a contemporary side, or if, if you will, um, Timberlin and his team, I would love to. Timberlin is absolutely uh, very creative. I would love to work with Justin Timberlake as a songwriter. I would love to work with um, Neo as a songwriter. I think that would be great. And uh, But then again, on the jazz side of things, I'd love to work with someone like David Foster, you know, actually yeah. produce an entire album yeah. uh, under his wing. That would be the most amazing experience. So, and then there are also other producers such as uh, Mark Ronson. Mark Ronson is a brilliant producer as well. So. There are many, many, many more, but uh, just for that. Yeah. Okay, we've been talking about the business and your dreams, but what I want to know is with all that life, you, this is like a very busy woman. What about the love? Uh, what about the love? <laughs> you know, every woman is dreaming about having someone close to her heart. So, do you have someone in your life? Absolutely. Currently, I don't have someone in my life right now. Um, my choice, I think, because I've been focusing on my my career quite a bit, and I really feel that it takes it takes a special someone to to be involved in what I have going because I am very busy. And as much as I love to love and give and be in love, I love all of that stuff. Um, I really need to find someone who understands that they're not competing. With yeah, because it can get very, I mean, it does take up a lot of time, yeah. you know, and also it's always nice to be with someone who um, has their own dreams, has their own aspirations yeah. as well, and so somehow, some way, our lives kind of meld together. So you will love someone very ambitious? Yes, yes. It, yeah, absolutely, it, having a passion, having a dream, and making that dream a reality, you know, yeah. So, so yeah, so I'm all about love, just uh, right, not, uh, not right now. <laughs> Where can you find, can we find your music? You can actually find it on the iTunes Music Store, um, which is worldwide, I, and the digital distribution that I do have is worldwide as well. And uh, you can find it on Snowcap, you can find it on Napster, you can find it on uh, a variety of other places, Coke.ca. You can also find it on your mobiles, such as uh, Virgin Mobile, as well as uh, Sprint. We have Verizon Wireless, because I think it's brilliant the way that technology is going, that you can just open up your cell phone download a song that you want, turn it into your own ringtone, and boom, there you have it. So, I really, really think that's cool. If you have a message for people who wants to be like you, young artists, what would it be? I would say always, always, always stay true to yourself and truly continue to believe in yourself because this industry can be very challenging at times. Uh, at times. <laughs> uh, but uh, there are... To be able to do your dream and love what you do on a daily basis is just more than you could ever ask for. And to be able to share my music with my fans around the world, you know, um, that is truly a blessing. And so I say, when times get hard, please don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. And also, educate yourself about the business. Because again, as we spoke before, it is the music business that we're dealing with here. So the more that you know about your rights as an artist, songwriter, composer, or producer, you um, will really succeed in this business. Thank you, Shaira. It was wonderful. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much. Yeah, it was Sing a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it.